Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use percentile function using calculated field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see here in my table I have percentile of items sold. But if I'll show you my data then you can see here that we do not have any column which shows the percentile. We have a column quantity sold over here and by using this column we can calculate the percentile of selling items of each category. So in this video we will create a calculative field in which we will use or apply the percentile function as a calculated formula in our chart or table from scratch so that you can get the awareness that when, where and how we can apply the percentile function using the calculated field. And before we use this function, let's understand the percentile function. So percentile is a type of aggregation function in Looker and it returns the value at a given percentile of a specific numerical data set. But in simpler word, you can say that the percentile formula determines the performance of a person or a category or you can say a value over other values. This percentile formula is used in finding where a value stands in the test compared to other values. So a percentile is a number where a certain percentage of scores fall below the given number. Thus a percentile is defined as the values below which a given percentage falls under. So for example in a group of 20 students suppose there is a student named as Arpita and Arpita is the second rank holder in her batch and 80% of the students have a scored less than her hence it means that Arpita is at the 80th percentile and it is most commonly used in competitive exams so most of the competitive exams you have found that you get a percentile so this percentile function is mostly used in competitive exam results now let's go and create a calculated field using percentile so what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to click on edit function right and the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove this percentile sold item now as you can see over here I have categories quantity sold average item sold median price and minimum price of each and every item sold within a particular category now what I need to do over here is that I need to find the percentile at a given certain number that how these categories are performing okay so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get into this data section and then I have to click on add a field once you click on add a field then it will allow you to add a calculated field so the first thing in the calculated field is that I need to give the name so I'm going to give name such as percentile at 50 okay percentile underscore 50 and then I'm going to put a formula so within this formula the first thing that I need to do is that I need to give the function name so for me the function name is percentile so as soon as I write PER you will see that Google Data Studio or Looker IntelliSense will show you the functions so right now Looker is showing us this percentile function if I click on this then within this percentile functions parenthesis we have to give two things the first thing is the x which is parameter and x is a numerical field or expression and then we have n and this n is a number in the range from 1 to 99 okay so for me we need to calculate the percentile of the item sold so we'll give quantity sold and then I need to give a number which will specify that on which percentile you are, you want to calculate it so I'm going to calculate it at a 75 percentile okay and then I can click on save as soon as I click on save then you will have this option finished but this will only appear if your formula over here is valid and if you see this green over here and this white tick mark this means that your formula is valid then you can go ahead and click on finish and once you click on finish then you will see that you have a column over here which says percentile 50 now what you can do is that you can simply drag this formula over here or this column over here and this column will start reflecting on your table or on your chart so as you can see over here that within percentile 50 
you can see this is the values for the quantity sold against each of these categories similarly you can create uh, another column which says percentile 90 so percentile 90 and then again i'm going to put the formula percentile and then i'm going to give quantity sold and then i'm going to put the number 95 or let's take 90 and then i'm going to click on save and once your formula is saved you can see that you have a green tick mark over here which says formula syntax is valid and then you can click on finish as soon as you click on finish you have a new column over here which says percentile 90 and you can drag it over here in your metric section to start reflecting that column over here as we have successfully applied and used a percentile function using a calculated field you might have a question in your mind that how does this percentile function works right so within this percentile function you have two values the first one is a numeric field and the second one is n and this numeric field or this first input within this percentile function is a numeric field or you can put it as an expression and then you have a second input which is n and this n is a number of range from 1 to 99 which helps you to calculate the percentile of a given data set while using the percentile function you have to note that x cannot be an aggregated field or the result of an aggregation function and n can be a decimal value you can put n as an integer value as well as as an decimal value so this is how basically you can use a percentile function in looker or data studio happy learning and see you in the next video